you're doing an Afrobeat record and you're sure. doing that, does it make it on my piano? No, because okay. KO has a song, K Over. It's got a, a log drum, but it's still hip hop. Okay. So there's also other things like, like the, the BPM, okay. you know, that matter as well. And okay. the, the synths you're using. Okay. Yes. Okay, I get it. There's certain sounds. Mm -hmm. And how while, while, while I'm here, I would, I would want to get like authentic I'm a piano production. I'm, oh, yes. dog, we've got plenty. I'm doing a EP now. It's called. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I would want to work on that. <laughs>
Hey, 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 so different, different into different stuff. No one's in entertainment. No, you're the only them. one. Yes, I'm the only one. So do they think like you're the black sheep? <laughs> yes, no, really. But I think I started. They were all in support. They knew what I was about when yeah. I was young. You yeah. know, I used to rap regardless. I used to sing, um, do covers of music. So they knew I was gonna go that route. But I'm like kind of like the, the calmest amongst them. So. Yeah. Uh, but definitely, I'm in the limelight. I bring the trouble to the family. You know, they have to face my hustle. You know, the problems I'm facing, they have to face it as well. Now you are psycho their brother. There's expectations. Psycho their sister. You can't. Uh, there can't be no problems with you. That type of un- unreal type of For expectation. Real. You know. That's so yes. Pressure. And I heard that when you were growing up, your mom wouldn't let you go in the music uh, in the studio. In, in the beginning, because. I, I think as Africans we all can relate. You know, parents don't see entertainment as a thing to go into. Yeah. And I don't I don't blame them because of how some of us kinda like go into it and turn out to be. So they had the right to feel like that. And so it wasn't my, just your mother, it was your dad as well. My dad wasn't around, so that was a uh, bad and good case. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Good good as in I had the time to sneak out and do whatever I wanted to do. Um yeah, so it was mainly my mom and she kinda like played both parts. My mom is very, very strong, so she can play the feminine and then you know the other side too so disciplinary exactly yeah. and she was really strict but i think she gave me a year to prove myself if this is what i really want to do um and thank god the same years when i had my, my one of my biggest records and then that's crazy that's the same thing that happened to nasty c okay yeah he asked his parents like give me a year if yes. if i don't do anything within this year I i'll go back whatever to whatever you want me to do yeah you know? and then that same year she sits in a taxi and the taxi drivers are talking about her son and you know she had no idea that i was i was out there they were like this kid his name is sako and then i uh, was so like that's my son oh you're you're no you're tripping yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no you're camping <laughs> exactly just yeah. take, me, take me to your house let me see him you know so it started from that and he she felt like okay this could be something and yeah. me but i would still give props to her because few parents can still figure it out and still kind of like act like they don't want it you know but when she saw that she was like okay um let's go and she supported and the whole family did yeah my big sister was one of the people that held my hand into the industry started making friends in the industry and introducing me to already known artists and all of that so my family yeah. played a major role and that's, how did you pick the name because at home you're michael Owusu, right Ado, yes so Ado, yeah so sakodi how do you then pick sakodi as the this name is funny story i had a thing with the ego the bed the ego and ego in 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 Ghana in Chi we say it Okodie. 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 That's okay. the ego. I love the, the ego. I don't know why I love I love the ego. You know, and my dad had like a friend, and I met a couple. Sarko. Sarko is the same name. It's actually a real name. It's people's names. You know, mm-hmm. so anybody called Sarko, and I feel like I'm 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 a family member. But that wasn't the case. I just saw random Sarko yes. And for some reason, they were all wealthy. They all had money. Oh, wow. You know? yeah. I, probably there will be some soccer there who was, who was broke. Poor, yeah. <laughs> I didn't, but I didn't we come don't across know that. Yeah, yeah, kid. yeah. So I thought, okay, maybe the name has something to do with wealth. And, I just, <laughs> <laughs> and also, I love the ego. So if you want to say like the ego, you say, in Chi, you say, so it sounded like soccer there. Oh. So there's two things, loving the ego and also the name, kind of like having people who have, been, who have money. Look. Having a name, I was like, just, let me just go with it, you know. Oh, Bro, that's dude, so profound that's because yeah. you do have money now. Mm-hmm. And like an eagle, he's always in the sky. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Powerful, yes. man. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Jeez. What yeah. does your dad say? Have you spoken to your dad? Yes, we keep up. Um, obviously, he was not like necessarily... 24-7. Same here, man. Join yeah, the club. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I thought it was a South African thing. Bro. And that is an African thing. That's an African thing. thing. That bro. is why we, this generation, we have to do better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But, 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 but you know, I had a conversation with him and I felt as a man, I kind of understand him to a certain point. Just, I'm mm. not going to agree with how he dealt with it, but I understand. Yeah. You know, as a man, I do get it. It's really hard, yeah. you know, because we can, we can just go like, oh, they didn't do it well, we're going to do it better. It's not going to be easy as we think. There are different challenges. To, yeah. Exactly. Mm-hmm. There's a lot that can get us into that 
box, but we try to fight that. So um, no no uh, bad blood between me and my dad. We are super close now. You know, Beautiful. me traveling, I have to keep him updated. I'm here. He just sent me a message this morning. He was like, you know, wherever you are, God be with you. Wow. Have a great time and, and bring you back home safe. You know, he, he does that a lot. Beautiful. So I just didn't have that in the beginning, but at least we made up and we have a great relationship. Yeah. What's his favorite song of yours? I don't think he's, he's given me one, but he's, he's now like, uh, I don't know if he's a preacher or something because he keeps sending all these. <laughs> so probably my gospel records, yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know th those WhatsApp broadcasts with um, scriptures? Yes, oh, yes, yes. yes, yes. Oh, they yes. love that. Every morning. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about the music, man. Yes. Am I right in saying Repaholic changed your life? Um... But, uh, yes, it it, uh, um, it added on to my evolution. Yeah. Yes. So I can say yes. It, it kind of like played a part in changing what I was at that point to a different level. Yes. Because that's the one that got you the PT, right? Mm -hmm. I think with me, every artist and what where their strength is, I noticed that some artists their strength is basically just the music and just having bangers and big records and making them superstars and all of that. And some artists have story. Me, I happen to have story. Um, yes, yeah, a little bit of the music, but when you come to Ghana, it's more about a story. Mm. I think I got the BET because the fans were, and t until now, they're still very aggressive. Mm. And the BET told me straight to my face that my fans are very aggressive. And yeah. I think that is what got me that. But then the album happens to be at that time. Um, and I had one of, one of the biggest records, You Go Kill Me, which started that Zonto you know, movement. So I wouldn't, necessarily say it's because of the project but I just built a story till then yeah, yeah so that got me the BET yeah. and how was it like for you to win a BET because this was like 10 years ago and that's a big thing I mean now it's like oh, it's yes. become a norm you know we started but it. back then it was like a huge thing bro you flying out there do they know you like what was going on bro Um, it's, it's always more based on the industry not necessarily the people so the people don't know the know, don't know the artists like now that what we do you have. Mean? so way back it was um, it was more of the BET, the the people in there, the artists, because that's always how it works. Though, like you guys in the industry, you look beyond just the music in South Africa, and the citizens, we have to feed them the music. Oh. That's what I meant. So at that point, we hadn't fed the the people in America in the America. music, oh, but then the, the industry, see. the media, they knew about what whatever oh, was happening here. Okay. So. When I got there, it wasn't like the Americans were like, "Oh, so I want to take a picture." No, it wasn't like that. It was, it was the beginning. It was, it wasn't like that. It was just the industry knowing you, you know, like an artist knowing you. Wow. Yeah. Which artist knew you from America? You like, whoa. How there was a know there was a funny story that happened, and I wasn't able. I didn't even two days. I haven't had the courage to share it. Yeah. Um, but then Ice Prince came to Ghana and he shared it. And because when I when I come to Ghana and share this story, there's no way they're gonna believe me. <laughs> so I was sitting at the BET. Um, on the aisle and then uh, we have Beyonce and um, her crew coming yeah. and then she stood right in front of where I was sitting and, and she was like this but obviously I knew it was not me yeah, like, yeah, so yeah. that's what I was thinking because I was just looking <laughs> yeah, behind to, like JC's behind me or something <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> then I was like no that was you then she just shook her head and just um, walked off so when I saw her do this new project with a lot of African artists I'm like okay kind of like these guys they actually know what is happening so Beyonce knew you wait I, I don't want to conclude on that, you know, because it's, it's, it's still... But I, I would, it's not far from that because what I realized, the more I get into their industry, they know everything that's happening. Wow. Yeah. They just don't necessarily speak on it. Yeah. They, don't, they don't let you know that they see what's happening. Because they're they trying to see. find the source. Exactly. So um, I wouldn't be shocked that they, they probably, maybe they had an idea what you were doing at that point, you know, because wow. I go to certain rooms because I think a year or two after that, I went to... Um, Rock Nation, Jay-Z's office. That's like yeah. way before Tidal. And we went to have a conversation. I thought I was going to sell myself, but they told me about myself. No Well, you met Jay-Z? No, I didn't meet Jay, but I met... Um, or oh, the people there. Beehive, that's Jay's cousin. Oh, oh yes, yeah. 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 Big, <sighs> they you know, knew you, dog. Yeah, so they, they were giving me a whole breakdown of my career. They told me about... I did a show at the Apollo. They pulled that up. They told me about Whoa. that. They told me about the song I released before I came to the office. And they open um a, like a screen to show me about myself, right? Even stats that I didn't have. Dude, are you not losing your mind? I lose my shit, dog. I kept quiet because it's good I didn't speak because I was going there to sell myself. 
But then these guys were selling meat to myself. <laughs> <laughs> like, who's this guy? <laughs> exactly. You know? so, so that's one thing I just realized that where Afrobeat is right now, I'm not shocked because these guys knew whatever yeah. that was happening. Mm -hmm. I remember back in um, Nigeria, MTV Awards, MTV Base Awards, and I was sitting behind Two Face and I saw T Pain. I'm talking bartender time. This is when T Pain is like really here. And T Pain comes to bow wait, down. Wait, 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 hold on. Was, is this the awards where Florida was performing? I don't remember. I, I lost, so I really don't. Didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't remember the details of that day. <laughs> I lost the award, so that was a bad... I, I lost to a South African, actually. I forgot the person. And I was... Double really, HP, wasn't it? I don't know. No. Okay. No, because I was at those I was so awards. mad I didn't even keep the name here, you know? Yeah. So I don't remember whoever performed. I think I, I was at those and, awards. And I lost earlier on in the show, so I didn't really enjoy. Yeah. Yeah, 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 it wasn't just there. But, yes, but it kidding you on. Yeah, you know, uh, T-Pain. Uh, T-Pain yeah. walks to... Um, Two-Face. Just to speak of the mic. Just to, yeah. just to bow to him. Wow. And... I was, this is during I'm a body. And this is, yeah, and this is no camera on them. So I was like... So that means this guy is listening to Afrobeat or listening to us, but we never knew. So I wouldn't be shocked that these guys know a lot. So when you start touring America, do you get that same love from now the residents that sang? Mm -hmm. So now they're singing new songs. Yes, now you have people out there that's like you know now you have the the masses because now they have. I think let's 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 give it up for Africans in the diaspora who have been very confident in in pushing our music mm. um, around their their people. So mm. you know when the three of us we can we can go to China right now and create and create a scene for like two hours and play one song and just jam to it. By the time we leave, there will be some Chinese who will have uh, a line or two in their head. Mm. It takes that. You know, and then Africans in the diaspora were doing that for us in the club, in the parties. There was a time we were shy to play mm. our records. Yeah. And now it's like the new coup. So all the white people, all the typical Americans who would, in a thousand years, never thought they were going to listen yeah. to African music, yeah, yeah, yeah. they are on now. So yes, we have a diverse crowd when we go out there now. Jeez, and you're charging in dollars, dog. You ain't fucking around. We've always been charging in dollars. You, you can go to the States and charge in CDs, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you have to, yes. Is it is it true that T-Pain wanted to sign, not T-Pain, Akon? Akon, yes. Um, we, we had a conversation to a point. Um, it just didn't happen. Mm. It was, and I would just take that for myself. It was, I just had a lot thinking about moving forward, what would be the plan? And I think that was the first. I would have been the first artist to be signed to an international label from Africa wow. if I had Whoa. done. If I had done that at that time, I just. I don't know whether it was a good move or not, but I was very. Me as a person, I'm very. I have to calculate everything, mm. even when Strategic. I had nothing. Yes, Is exactly. Yeah. Yes, I'm. I'm always. Detailing is very important. So I look at something, no matter how good it looks, I'll just be looking. Okay, after you sign, I can think about ten years before the 10 years come and then I start to panic now. So now that's what I think happened. I'm not saying there was anything wrong with it. I was just more into myself and going like, I don't know, I need to work myself up a little bit. And that's how come we didn't do it. But I still give props to Akon because he opened up a lot of doors. He made me see stuff that typical African artists were not able to see because wow. uh, he made me understand how the industry worked out mm. there. You know, So I applied that in my own independent way. So he approached you? How did that happen? No, his... His team, I don't know if, I think, yeah, his manager is a Ghanaian. Okay. So that, was, that was the way that was introduced. Like, you got to listen to this kid, exactly, man. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Oh, Big wow. shouts to Babs, yes. Wow. That's, in hindsight, do you think you made the right decision, though? I, I still, I'm not, I'm not disappointed, and I'm not in a bad state, so, yeah, you could say that's good, but also, you never know. It could have been way bigger than this if you had gone with it. Yeah. You know? sure. but, so when I when I was on the BET stage, if you if you watched the speech again, you know, I gave him shout out when he was sitting there. Yeah. And I could see what would run into his head. It's like this guy actually pushed mm, to this point. It, it took yeah. me a long time. Yeah. Probably if, if he came in it would have made it quicker. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Yeah. You know, so um I think both ways I was still find a way to survive. It's just that um I love the fact that I move on my own pace. It gives me Peace of peace, mind to be able yeah. to create, um, not into any pressure or anything. Yeah. Yeah. That side is good, but also when you have infrastructure, you know how that goes. You know, you and it's really... about the journey, bro. It's exactly. about the, the destination. Mm -hmm. It's about the journey. Mm -hmm. How is it like performing with Ludacris? I'm a big fan of Luda, man. Yes, yeah, so Luda came to Ghana. Um, we went for a radio interview, and then they played one of my records while he was sitting at the radio station. So when we moved from the station, he just got out of the car and go like. You know that song that we're playing? You see that style? Can we do how low 
like that on on stage. I'm like, Whoa. of course, you know. So yes, yeah, and so, how low's the smash? Exactly. So <laughs> then, I did a verse like that and I performed with him. So that's how come that happened. Whoa. Yeah. Jeez, which other rappers have you like performed with apart from him? Uh, like on the same platform yeah. or like perform with them? Perform with them. I know Miguel, you performed with him. Yes, you're in SA. Yeah. Um, You've lost count, me? No, no, no. So I don't think it's that much. I've been on the same platform with artists, but not necessarily performed with oh, them. Oh, you've just shared a stage. Shared a stage. Yeah. Uh, yes, 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 yes. Would them. you like to still share a stage with them? Um, Kendrick, definitely. Yeah. J. Cole, mm. uh, Jay Z. Jay Z, dude, who Kanye. doesn't, bro? Kanye. Yeah. Kanye. You was in Ghana too some few years back, ne? Kanye? Jay, Jay has been to Ghana. Jay Z has been to Ghana. Kanye, no. Kanye went to a different, I don't know if it's Uganda or somewhere. Oh, yeah, yeah, but yeah. it was in Africa. Yeah, it's Africa, yes. Yeah, yeah. How do you get Idris Elba on Black Love? How did that happen? So, yeah, same thing um, in December. Everybody and their mama is, is, is in Ghana. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it just happened to be there. Then on Christmas Day, I have the biggest concert in Ghana called Rapaholic. So I think he wanted to go out on Christmas Day. And then that was, I was lucky. My show was the, uh, was, the, was the thing that night. So he got a ticket and he came. Uh, and I was backstage. That was the first time I saw him. So he came to see me. We had a conversation. Then he goes to sit down to watch the show. And he had a blast when I came on stage. Wow. Uh, and that's what I mean by how you sell your music. Because now it was the perfect time to sell your music. Now he's mm. in your territory. Mm. He, your fans are all over. The energy is crazy. When you guys come to Ghana, you come to Rapaholic, you have a different mm. look wow. at Sarkozy. Because cool. that's when you get to really understand what the whole thing is about. So he was sold. And the next day he came home, I cooked food, we had food, and then he did that verse. And then I just went to London, we shot the video. That's it. Wow, wow man. That's man. amazing, bro. Mm -hmm. you, you're blessed, dog. Eh? Dude, Idris was in your crib. Yes, yes, Yo. yes. That's so my brother. You've been traveling all over the world for like the longest time now, right? Mm -hmm. So we've got piano artists from SA who've just started touring the world now. What, what, would, what, what would you say is like the, the source to tap into the international market? Because everybody wants that market right everybody. now. Everybody. Especially the American market. Mm -hmm. um, I think years back, they, somebody advised me that the best way to invade is, is to invade together than trying to do it on, on your own like a person. So if you have a, if you have a movement, that is way easier. Because look at it, if only Wizkid broke into America, where were they going to fit him on a playlist? Mm. Mm. Oh. Mm. You know, because now you're playing a lot of hip hop and R&B records. Where do you fit that? You know, mm. But then if you have a dancehall playlist and that dominates, that, that can even sneak into hip hop sometimes. But to start straight to take Afrobeat into, uh, into that pit, that playlist is hard so now you invade together how do you do that you start doing shows that's what african artists started doing when we started doing one africa concert uh, yes we sold out big big venues and anybody that sees numbers that's all they care about and that is a good way to kind of like get into a system you know yeah. so it just has to be a movement that you guys are moving with and that's that's good in independently or individually i think you can also do stuff you want to do but i always believe in having a solid background and that's what you fall onto because you don't yeah exact foundation because if you just go when everything is stripped away that's it you know mm. you need you they need to see you like you have something mm. that you know whether we like it or not these people are still going to mess with you mm. so that is a good way to be able to invade yeah and what about um We've got a lot of rappers in SA that want to sound like J. Cole. Mm. Yes. The identity. They want to sound yes. American mm -hmm. and try to sell themselves. <laughs> I American. love how you overtook my question. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I had the same thing in mind. Sorry, dog. Like, oh, oh, God. I had the same question in mind. How yeah. important is the identity of your sound? <laughs> These questions would have been way easier. I used to answer this like, yeah, you have to be authentic, which is still stands. You have to be. But I, what is... How does the person feel? That's very important. How someone feels plays a role in how they succeed. So you might not get it. You feel like you sound like somebody, but they have this feeling in mm. them individually that can take them there. You might be shocked. Because back in Ghana, I used to have the same thing that they're saying, you're rapping in tree. There is no way you can do this, you can do that. But I had a feeling that was personal for me. When I sit down and I look at the BT, I'm like, you know, I could be rapping and then someday... Yes, what is going to happen is I will have limitations that you wouldn't un understand what I'm saying, but I might find a way to sonically please your ear. Mm. And that's also something. I don't, might not have what J. Cole will have as in lyrics and style. You get everything. But sometimes you might get 
lyrics are not necessarily messed with the style or you get a style and not get the lyrics. Mm. So I'm like, okay, if I'm rapping in three, I just have to make it sound pleasing to the ear. And that would be a trick for me to get to at least to Africa. Yeah. And I did. And so that that's what I mean by I can't judge somebody. I would think they sound American, so it's not going to sell. But mm. It's how they individually, how they feel. I get you. you know, so I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't downplay that. It's, it's not a good way. But obviously, if you are authentic, it's always a plus. Yeah. Yes. Wow, I think you answered that beautifully, man. I appreciate it. Yeah. Are you happy with the answer? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll answer. I'm very happy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. We're going to play a game. It's called One Must Go. Ne? Okay. I'm going to give you two artists. You must tell me which one must go. You wow. ready? All right, let's do Make this. Make it easy. Uh, Tiwa Savage versus Semi Shay. Who's Semi Shay? I don't know, but she's there. Oh, she's then we know who must go. He <laughs> <laughs> answered that one. That's answered. <laughs> I don't see a savage. Yeah. <laughs> but I love, I love, what's the semi shay semi I love you wherever you are. Yeah, yeah. So for this game, you might have to go. All right, cool. <laughs> Davido Burner Boy. Ooh. Tough one, huh? Bro, you're going to cause problems for me, man. Nah, not even, man. Really? The game. They are touring, the man. Let me, tell, let me tell you one thing before I answer this. So, I'm not gonna mention the artist's name. There was a song that I was I was just being what's what's the just it's like a fun song. So yeah. I, I, it wasn't meant to be taken serious. Yeah. Then I mentioned one artist's name. Same thing you did. Sure, sure. Then it, it kind of like made it seem like yes, same put like the same approach. Mm. And guess what? The DM was like crazy. Yo, you know. For real. Yes. It was like a long message. Nigga was in his feelings. Yes. And as much as I would have reacted differently, I can't control how others react. Yeah, so yeah. I'm trying to be very, very careful with this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, trust me. Because I've had an experience which is not, you know, wasn't oh. too pleasant. Yeah. Damn, why to, would Burna even, Boy it, say that? I doubt it's Burna Boy, man. I doubt it's Burna Boy. Burna Boy is a G. I doubt it's taking that emotion. It's not. It's not. But, you know, to date, we, we've not been able to solve it. It's been like, Four or five years. Yeah. Whoa. I find that crazy, dog. Like when you interact with people uh, in the industry, and you're not being like malicious or anything. Mm. It's fun, lighthearted, but they take it personal. Very personal. Mm. Mm. And you try explaining like, dude, no, why are you being personal? Creatives, creatives are very, very, you know, we 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 take things like very serious. So, you know, even on the radio, when I when I was coming, out, people say stuff. It really gets to you. Mm. You know, they might be giving their opinion, but you still take it very personal. So. When it has to do with artists. If I hadn't... And, and back in Ghana, people had issues. I had a song, I was just... You know I'm lying. It's not yeah. possible. Because mm. I was talking about artists owing me money. You know you don't owe me. So why are you mad? Mm. Artists got mad. So... <laughs> wow. Yes. And I had to do what? a lot of... Um, apology. Damage control. Uh, yes. Damage control type of thing. I was shocked that I had to do that. Yeah. And I, I thought they were, they were, they were like... I, I used to hear from people. Oh, this guy is not really happy with you. And I, I reached out and they actually weren't happy. That's you know? crazy. So, and wow. it's just because of my position, especially in Ghana. You know, whatever I say. But don't you think it was like underlining issues and that was the trigger? No, it's just because it's me. Mm. Um, I, I just said a line in, in, in a song and the president happened to win. And they're like, I said it and I made him win. And now <laughs> there's issues. So now the issue is on me. Like everybody's saying, you made him. I'm like, how? I, I, just me, the whole Ghana, I made the president win. <laughs> Yo, can you, you mention know. us in your next song? Yo, bro, yeah, man. You want to be number one podcast in God? Yeah, exactly. I can, I can, you, you, but you have to do some, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. As, as much as I, I really want to make this fun, but I know what I've been through. Yeah. You know, and, and this might, you know. No problem. Yeah. I think I know who you want to go, but okay. I'll tell you off here. <laughs> AKA Casper in your vest. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, bro. You, you worked oh, with both why, of them. Why, why yeah, are you trying to make it so good. hard? Like, why? <laughs> The first one, you really set the tone really good. <laughs> <laughs> you got to give me this one at least. Guys, yeah. you are my guys. Casper, yeah. AKA. But this, I can't even let anyone go though. Not, yeah. Just be on the real. Sure, sure. Just being on the real. Yeah. I can. Why? So let one go. Let me understand it. What, what is it? Just let go. They're going. They're going. Like they must go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care where you're going. How yeah, they yeah. Go. They must put sake. <laughs> <sighs> Bro. Nah. <laughs> I can't. Nah, 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 nah. Okay, I'll give, let's okay. give it one more try. Okay, choose. Uh, which one must go? Married to the game or special someone? <laughs> <laughs> That's what you're featuring Casper. You're featuring AKA. Okay, no, no. Which song is your favorite of those two? 
these are these are two dif- different genres. Yeah. But I, I stand for hip hop, so I'm gonna go for Married to the Game. Married to the Game. Oh, so that, that's the Casper New Vest one. <laughs> okay. So, AKA must go. Alright, cool. Please. <laughs> Last one is Kwame Eugene Shatawale. One must go. Yeah. Bro, who's the one? That, who's the guy that got arrested when we in Ghana? Oh yeah, Shata I think Wale. it's Shatawale. Shata yeah, Shata yeah, Wale? yeah, yeah. He shot someone, right? Or no. pulled a gun out or something. No, it was a music video. Oh, it was a music video. Oh, or yeah? was it a PR stand? I don't know. I don't man. know, but he was a, he was arrested for something. Yeah, so I'm, I've even I've even lost because my brother is, is you know Shatawale. My brother is crazy. He would just wake up and just something will happen. So <laughs> I, I've lost count what exactly happened. He has done a lot, you know. But that's that's somebody that brought energy into our industry. You know, as much as we thought. We were being mad, you know, because I even get, he insults me for no reason. We will be on the phone today yeah. and tomorrow he's up on the radio. F suck. Starting you know? something. Mm-hmm. Yes, you know, and sometimes you don't understand it, but mm-hmm. I think for a moment he brought energy and, and attention yeah. to the industry. Yes. Um, but the two are like so far apart because okay. um, Eugene is very new and yeah. Eugene knows I'm the biggest fan. Yeah. Just for the game, Eugene will go. All right, cool. Yes. Okay. All right, cool. All right. Do you still have time? I want to ask him some quotes from his interviews. Do we still have time? Do you have time? Yeah, yeah, we got time. All right. These are some quotes I, I, I read in some of the interviews you did, right? Mm-hmm. I really like these men, so I wish you could expand on them. Uh, here's the first quote. It says, the best way to respond to hatred is to trigger love. Mm-hmm. The one who loves is the greatest. Mm-hmm. Ooh, that's deep, man. Yeah. Profound. That's cool being a stronger man, eh? Mm-hmm. Fuck that shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, because I think over the years, I've seen what has worked for me that I've been able to make me still make music and still connect to the people. Um, and I've seen that the more, I, whatever I focus on is what I keep getting. So um, I used to watch other artists' timeline on Twitter and everything seems so toxic because they're trying to like explain to people who don't like them, which always stands out. When somebody says you suck, it stands out. Yeah. You know? So you, you are tempted to like reply to that. Yeah. I love you is always very normal. Mm. But I try to not take that for granted and focus more on that. And also, yes, always show love back to, to people. Of course, if you cross the line, there are certain levels, boundaries that you might not be able to take, which I'm a human, so I'll react. But I know for sure that these 10 years has been because of love. I have to have that thing for myself. It's, it's more like a selfish move to be able to keep my sanity and all of that. And it's worked. So I keep telling the young ones coming, you know, this negative energy and, you know, whether coming from fans, media, or even your peers, you don't, you don't need that. You know, when there's more love in your heart, you find a way to always sail through yeah. your industry. Mm-hmm. Funniest thing you, you read on Twitter about yourself, like a troll was trying to get at you. What did they want to say? I think there's been this perception about me being stingy. Oh, yeah? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, where did that come from? You don't look stingy, bro. No, um, I, I think as a person, I just feel like how I am as Michael doesn't go with the job I, I took. Because the yeah. job I took is showbiz, the things that you have to do, which Entertainment, I can't. Entertainment, yeah. Uh, yeah, it seems like you're, you're lying mm. and I can't do that. Mm. And I think mm. Africans, I won't say Ghana because Africans love that. When, you know, people come and throw money, those yeah. are the people who like, even when they have bad intentions, you still mm. like them and then you end up being in, in trouble. It's like even with women, men spending money on you so you think that's where you have to be but then they have motives that's it's not compared to the person that was not giving you money but really, really wanted to spend time real, something real that mm-hmm. they wanted to offer. So, in Ghana, I hate when they have the camera on me and I have to like give money to people. My my meaning of that is I don't respect you. That's how I see it as a person. Mm. So if I have money for you and I really want to give you money, there's a way that I have to do it. A respectful uh, way. Exactly. A respectful yeah. way. You don't have to throw it. Exactly. It's not no. African. It's not African. Exactly. It. Mm. Exactly. But funny enough, that is what our people love. Whoa. And Sad. I'm not ready to change for that because it doesn't feel right in me so it comes across as a very stingy person because when i come out and i see cameras and i have fans saying no we need money i'm not going to do it i'm not going to be forced because they have camera on me and i'll sit in my car and go and if i want to support i actually support people i do but that's for me it's for my personal whatever i just feel good when i do it well me and him are just like you bro mm. we've been on this podcast for a long so they've been trying to get us a wardrobe wow. they're like you, you gotta dress like you're the number one podcast. <laughs> yeah like, you gotta have, have some swag <laughs> <laughs> we're, like, we're swagged up you do have <laughs> swag. we, look exactly. like? we don't look swagged up <laughs> <laughs> we're swagged up we got drip. <laughs> but when we get to gigs and they want to give us all these 
crazy bottles. We're like, nah, just just give us. Nah, these. just keep it, keep it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, but it. champagne's oh. nice though. Don't fuck around. Yeah. Champagne's nice. Yeah, you cra- <laughs> <laughs> Is it really nice? Yeah, I just started drinking champagne two weeks oh, ago. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't take too much. I just hold it for the flex of it. Yeah. Yeah. Aesthetics, yeah. You know, when you're in the club, you just hold it. Uh, but I'm not too much of you know. I, I'm not too much into alcohol. So yes, it's, it's the stingy bit, and um, it's always funny because I'm. And one thing about me, I've never explained anything about me in Ghana. So I just have fun when I go on Twitter and I see people speak, and they, and they have memes about how stingy I can be. <laughs> wow, <laughs> that's funny, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But so, did also troll you for 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 being with your woman for ten years and not marrying her, and then only after ten years deciding to marry her. Yeah, they used to bring that. That, but you see, anything you say. As soon as I feel like it doesn't make sense, it's, it's funny than me taking it serious. Okay. You know, because when you say something and there's no sense in it, because yeah. I wouldn't, I would think, what, what would make you say that? If you're not a deep person, that's what you say. Yeah. So that means you're just dumb or you're just, so when I read stuff like that, I want to have fun by reading it because I know you're, either you're trying to troll, you know the, the real thing to say and you're not saying it yeah. or you're actually dumb for real. You know, so all those type of, <laughs> Approach is not because I can't take that serious. If someone says that, how can that be serious? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know. So I don't want to believe you, you're serious. Yeah. You know? So that's how I take it and my approach to it. Yeah. Do you remember? Do you still remember the first time you met your woman? Because yeah. she's like your high school sweetheart, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Damn. yeah. So no, no. We, Shout out to you, dog. Yes. Yo. Yes. Yeah. For not switching up on uh, when the money nah, came. Nah, nah, nah. It's, it's not. I mean, you could have really DM'd that. Beyonce. <laughs> exactly. You could be like, I'm swing, swing, girl. <laughs> you know. <laughs> You know, so we grew up in the same neighborhood, you know, a few blocks away from my mom's house. And um, yes, I always, the reason why I knew it was her because I didn't have a reason. Oh, so, wait, 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 wait. Say that again. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. Mm-hmm. The reason? Why I knew that it was her because I didn't have a reason. Oh. And today I keep telling her, I'm like, I have, I have my, my, what you call your spec. It'll make sense later, so. Yeah, man. <laughs> Still doesn't make sense. <laughs> You know, what I call my spec, you know, that's like physical. Every guy has that, you know, you love. Yes, boobs, yes, love. yes, yes, It wasn't that about her. It was just, you didn't, you don't know why. You just wanted to get to know the person, you know. Held it. Uh, so for a long time, I think she, she went out to live in Germany her whole life. Whoa. I lived my life. She lived her life and she came back and then we reconnected. It was a funny situation because, you know, she was back and I had the biggest heartbreak that same time you know so i was really into the music trying to get the music off this girl made me go through hell and i was coming from the studio and i heard she was back in town she was hanging with the guys you know these guys everybody wanted to get to her so anything she's saying whether it's funny or not they were just laughing for no reason and i came as a hustler and then he was like she was like oh that's michael you look grown and guess what i flipped i was mad i was like why how, how the hell what do you mean by i look grown are you my age mate <clears throat> Do you know how old I am for you to even... I was mad for... You know when you're, when you're starving? You sound like you're mad. <laughs> exactly. You see, when you're starving, everything sounds like an insult. Yes, you yes, know? yes. And yeah, I got mad and she yeah. was like... She was shocked because she didn't think what she was saying should warrant that, 100%. you know? And then I think that, funny enough, that's what got her. You know, um, and then she wanted to apologize, and the apology turned into whatever you guys are seeing now. <laughs> <laughs> and you never cheated on her, bro. Bro, do so you want to have that conversation? Yeah. Yeah. Oh no, no, no. I'm, 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 I'm just zoning into you know my situation. Yeah. Yes. Nah, cause it's commendable if you've never, cause you're a superstar, bro, dog. Cause it, it's gonna come. It's how you deal with it. Yeah, that's what you I'm know? saying. Like, as yeah. a person in general, mm. I think having a strong will. As a, even you asking me about way back being vulnerable and not being able to sign to even um, Acorn. Acorn, yeah. It just tells you how I am as a person. Mm. You know, I do what I want to do. Mm. And exactly. loyalty is key. Mm-hmm. And everybody around me has been for me day one. Angel, day zero, everybody. Wow. Yeah. Really Who are your friends? Because I deal with people, I keep telling people, don't trust no one, just love them. Because if you trust them, it's going to be a problem. You know, now, anything they do that goes off what you believe, that's going to be it. You know? But I love them, so I see beyond. Because I'm not perfect myself. Yes, so, yes. no matter what happens, what is key is the fact that I know they genuinely care about me. Oh, I love so, that. So that's how come they've been around me for a minute. Beautiful. Yeah. Which goes t- actually ties into my next quote that I found here. Mm-hmm. As you climb the ladder of success, check occasionally to make sure it's leaning against the right wall. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> 
Hey, bro, you're deep. <laughs> that, that, that explains itself. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. That's, that's Are you living on the right wall, so? <laughs> hey? Ah, oh, me, I'm on the high, and my letter is not on the wall. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> just, I'm just balancing it, you know? <laughs> now I'm kidding, it's leaning on the right wall. Yeah, yeah. How yeah, do you I'm come to a conclusion that, yeah. like this, bro? Because you still are successful. Mm. I think you, pe- people just get lost in whatever they're doing, which yeah. is good. But I think once in a while, you need to take yourself out a little bit and just look at what's happening. Are you missing out on something? Yeah. Are you living something unattended to? Mm-hmm. And you have to solve it, you know? And that's what I've been doing over the years. Mm. I try to make sure that whatever builds what you are into, you make sure you take care of it. Yes. This one I don't understand, so maybe you understand this one. Yeah. Never despise your helpers. It takes attitude to uphold the latitude at high altitude. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> platitudes. <laughs> and they talk about, about the club. So this is this this is a quote. Jeez, definitely not from me. It's not from you. No, and we're gonna fire the. Yeah, yeah, man, yeah, yo. Fire. That is what do you think this means, though? This Say it again. The, never the last despise. one is so confusing. I, I got the, the first lines, but yeah. the last bit is like. Never despise your helpers. It takes attitude to uphold the latitude at high altitude. Mm-hmm. I hey, think hey, hey. that's a platitude and a half. I think that that can also be connected to the last thing that you said. You know, the ladder. The ladder thing. Yes, yeah. I think it's about just you know people that as balance. Being, exactly. You have to make sure that they they don't feel a certain type of way. You know, people that have built what you are. Um, even the whole story. Anybody that contributed in a certain way. Yeah. You know, has to be upholded in a certain level to be able to have the sanity to go further. Because how people feel towards what you're doing is also going to play part, you know? This motherfucker's smart, dog. Yeah, bro, the thinker. Mm-hmm. And he's got a degree in graphics, imagine. <laughs> yeah, dog, what's the story of graphic designing, man? I, I'm, I'm an artist. <laughs> I, I, I sketch, I paint, and I did graphic design in IPMC. Wow. Um, and I originally... I think we all did on Microsoft exactly, Word. Exactly, yeah. you know? <laughs> <laughs> on paint! On paint! <laughs> so or, originally, that is what I wanted to do, and I just realized I was not going to be able to sit at an office and, 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 and wait till six before I can get out. You know, that was mm. not going to work for me. So I, sh- I still chose art, but a different type of art. No, I love it, man. Yeah, so have you ever done, like, any album covers? No. Oh, you've never designed Funny it. enough, I hate being in the process of... I want a production, as in beats... Artwork video, I want to trust somebody. Ah, gotcha. Yes. I don't uh, want to be in the process. Those who fear to fail will never be hailed. Mm-hmm. Because you're scared. You're scared you don't want to move. So you feel like uh, this is, this. yeah, you're scared. You, should, you don't have that kickstart type of energy. Then mm. there's nothing you're going to be able to accomplish because you would have to move to be able to get in. Do you still get scared, bro? Because you've accomplished mm-hmm. so many things. No, I think when you love something, you always have to be nervous and scared a little bit because mm. if you don't, that's when you get comfortable. Mm. Um, it's like when I compared, I compare me going to stage. Anytime I'm about to go on stage, I still have the first feeling I had when I was coming up. Even my own show, yeah. people turned up because of you, and you know they're going to scream when they see you. But why are you still nervous? It's because you care. You, you. Uh, yes, it's, it's because I want to go on stage and make something that when I, I'm off stage, I'm going to go like, I killed it. Even if they didn't scream, personally, I want to feel fulfilled. And that's, the, that's where the, the panic and everything comes from, and detailing. And I feel like people have put in enough into you. They deserve better. You know, I care too much about it. So it gives you this uh, un- uncomfortable feeling. I always want to go to the washroom and... But by the time I get on this stage, everything is gone. But that shows. I didn't understand it in the beginning. I yeah. thought maybe, um, why, why are you scared? Because mm. no matter what, they, they, listen, they came here before you. So exactly. why? Even my mm. team don't understand it. Mm. Like the people pay the ticket because of you. So yeah. they don't even need you to do anything. Just come and stand there Say hi. and they're going to scream. Yeah. But I'm like, no, I just care too much. That's a problem. Mm. So I got to understand mm. it's because of care mm. and, and, and loving what I do. And yeah. I think if you love something, it's like being in a long distance relationship when your girl's coming from somewhere, you're at the airport, you're very nervous, you know? But you know, you know her, but you're yeah. still nervous. So I, I connect that with my career in music. Yeah, usually I'm fucked up, so that's why I'm always nervous. <laughs> 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 it wasn't yeah. me, baby, it was Saul. <laughs> <laughs> Under the bus, there I go. Yeah, but you're, you're nervous because you care, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. If you don't care, you wouldn't be nervous. It yeah. reminds me of, like, even this past weekend, I was at a gig, mm-hmm. and uh, this, this girl comes up to me. She's like, yo, dude, why is it when you DJ and you don't smile or laugh, like, on your show? I'm like, because I'm, 
I care so about zoom into it. Yeah. I'm yes. zoomed into this, you know. I care about making sure this yes, is everything proper. goes well. It's not a premix. Mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Uh, do you still like cooking? Um, yes, it's it's like a, I don't know if if I can call it therapy, but it's just a time where I can think when yeah. I'm doing that. Yes, not all the time, but certain certain. And I I know just two or three things to do. People think I'm like a cook cook. I'm not. I just learned what I like, yeah. which is jollof or egg stew. Yeah. These two. Egg stew. Yes. Wow. Which one is that one? Egg stew. I got you. I, yeah, I don't know. If it's... you want to try that, you know, I can I can do that apartment. You guys can come through and, and taste it. It's like one yeah. of the best. Isn't that scrambled eggs? No. So yes, it's it's like tomato stew with eggs. Oh yeah, we 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 okay. in Venda, yeah, we rock that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You, you rock egg stew. Yeah, with uh, tomatoes. Excuse you mix you me? mix the eggs. <laughs> <laughs> You mix the eggs, scrambled eggs with like tomato. In a pot. In a pot, yes. Not after. No, not after. Okay, I think I've I've had something like that, but it's not something... It's a big thing. I made. I made. Wow, cool. Very good. And then you still like uh, Kardashians? Keeping up with the Kardashians? I don't watch that. Oh, okay. We gotta fire this producer, man. <laughs> uh, bro, like I don't that. think. Uh, come on, bro. The guy with all these proverbs and deep thoughts, <laughs> watching Kardashians. I mean, he rapped and called out governors in Ghana, right? He made the president win. <laughs> and you gonna watch Kardashians? Kardashians. Nah. Uh, what, are, what are we busy with right now, man? I know you signed a label, um, record label deal in the UK last year, eh? No, it was publishing deal. Oh, publishing deals yes, with yeah. Sony. So what are we busy with right now? Um, just the working, it's just um, random records. I don't want to call that a, a project or an album. It's just random good music. That, and what, that's one of the main reasons why I came here. I'm shooting visuals for them. Nice. Um, just to drop it. But I think, personally, I have a lot of stuff that I'm doing personally for myself. But of course, the fans always want you to drop music, so I'm still doing that. Yeah. yeah. Ah, Sakodi, thank you so much. Thank you so much, man. man. We really appreciate it. I hope to, 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 to hope you collaborate with some piano guys, man. Yes, man. Since I want you, you guys here. to put me on who exactly I have to be working with. I'm yeah. still stuck in time. I, I, I know, I, I still know only Ko and AKA. Oh, yeah. shit. Oh, yeah. Those are not yeah. piano guys. We got yeah. Folkalistic. We got Folkalistic. Yeah, yeah, you know him? Yeah. You, you know Maparisa. Yes. Yeah, yeah, he does piano also. Okay. Comes with a small. Lady Musa Keys. Musa Keys is right now. Yeah, okay. Google a guy called Musa Keys, okay. right? You're going to love his energy. Okay. Super talented producer as okay. well. Okay, I'm going to get on that. Yeah, but when we went to Ghana, yes, they played my piano on like 128 BPM. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it was racing, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Even me, that the records I just did recently it had, I don't. So now I need to understand what's really on my piano because that is, is it that when those drums come in, does it make it on my piano or it's the lock drum? Okay, it's the lock drum. It's the bass line that's yes. also a drum. So if if you're doing an Afrobeat record and you're sure. doing that, does it make it on my piano? No, because okay. Ko has a song K Over. It's got a, a lock drum, but it's still hip hop. Okay. So there's also other things like they, the, the BPM, okay. you know, that matter as well, and okay. the, the synths you're using. Okay. Yes. Okay, I get it. There's certain sounds, mm-hmm. and how. While, you use while them. I'm here, I, w- I would want to get like authentic. I'm a piano production. Ah, oh, yes. no, we've got plenty. I'm doing a. EP now, it's called. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I would want to work on that. No. Nah, it's called I Songs would... I Put My Name On. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so it doesn't do anything. Okay. Yeah. You just send him the songs and like, ah, say I made it. Okay. And then okay. he no, puts no, his no, name no, no, on no, no. it. That's his, his whole strategy. Yes, so he's got good. a lot of my piano beats is what he's saying. Oh, yeah, yeah, I got plenty. Let me, let me hear some. Ah, yes, cool, let dog. me hear some. I appreciate nice it. Nice to meet Thank you, man. I love this. And as soon as the project is out, I want to come back here. Yeah, come through, bro. This is your home, bro. Thank you so much. Nice oh, to do it in Ghana. We can fly yes, out there. Yeah. Yes, yes, yeah, that yeah, would be dope. Yeah. We'd love to come back to Thank Ghana. Thank you. When when is uh, Rapaholic in December? Twenty fifth December. Oh, which is Christmas. always okay, always funny tricky. because people want to spend time with their family. Yeah, yes. 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 that's a bit. Tricky. But in closing, we always ask our guests this: uh, mm-hmm. What do you want to be remembered as, man? When it's all said and done, yeah. Um, an artist that stood for what he believed in and um, was very stubborn about it was able to prove a point that whatever he believed in made sense, and he was ready to put in work to show that. Um, he wasn't just saying it, but right. he was able to do it. And in my case, it's more of me rapping in my native tongue and also being a rapper, being amongst super commercial artists in Africa, which is rare because rap basically is like a subset of music, especially in Africa, that mm. we have a limit audience. But Sarkodie was able to rock shoulders with 
the biggest in, in Africa, still staying authentic to himself. So yeah. I was really stubborn about what I believed and then I got it. So Love yeah. that, man. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for Sakori. Sakori! Podcast and chill, we out here. Boo! Welcome to Black Excellence. Do not fear, for if you do, just sip on some grandeur. And if you still do, ask ourselves, what would Mapapunzi do? Parama chilla, itlesha lefiki. Ungo yi, even when they ask you, how sabi do not fear. For if you do, just say, Anistiri. This is the medicine of censorship. This is the pill. Which one is that one? Podcast and chill.